Hi, this is Shadi and today we will discuss dirty tricks of judo. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting topic. I recently did uh, a video about the Yasuhiro Yamashita choke demonstrated by Satoshi Ishii uh, with judo fanatics. I suggest you check it out. The video went viral in a way. Uh, today we will talk about getting away with technicalities. Not so much like this because this is just outright cheating and just being unethical. Uh, I don't know how she got that world title, but hey, that's just me. She's a very talented judoka, nothing against her, but uh, this was completely wrong and she should have been penalized for it. I'm sure everyone is aware of this and still they gave her the world title, but that's another talk for another day. Today we will talk about holding your cards close to your chest and get that win using little bits of technical loopholes. So, first one is what I like to call the bicep slice into a submission or pin. So um, here, uh, this is courtesy of fighting films. So before the bicep slice was 100% legal, where you can press putting your arm in between. Uh, now, not so much. My senseis constantly say this is illegal. Uh, I believe in BJJ also up until purple or brown belt. I may be mistaken. This is what a black belt told me in IBJJF. So. BJJ guys, let me know down below if this is true. So here's what you can do with a bicep slice in order to get the win or the preferred position. So what you can do is you can use the pressure of a bicep slice to actually get uh, the pain to relieve the arm. Like here you see what Khabib was trying to do against uh, Justin, but the timer went on. Uh, what you do is like the pain of the bicep slice will get them to pummel down around the leg and thus relieving their arm and you can easily bait them into a juji getame basically it doesn't happen that often but you can still get away with it another way you can use the bicep slice is unless you you fell and found yourself in the open guard you can do like the uge hishigi hizagatame gaishi into the pin and thus uh, either you get the pin you don't put too much pressure with your uh, shin on the bicep or they can tap out you know in a way that you don't look like you're actually pulling off a bicep slice so you're actually going for the pin this is uh ude hishigi hizagatami gaishi like i said uh here let's see it again this is from old uh kanai hirata footage you sweep and thus you're into the pin so uh you can get the tap uh, it might look like because a lot of people just gasp in judo and just tap out either they just gave up and they cannot go out of the pin like Travis Stevens here he just taps out because he knew there's no way out and thus he tapped out so it might look like they're doing that and also like I said you know you have your shin uh, the bottom of your shin on the bicep uh, it doesn't look like you're actually pulling off a bicep slice that is technically cheating uh, but you know worst case scenario hey you're in the pin uh, and you're pinning and you can win so uh, that's one way you can do it either to let go of the arm for the arm lock or uh, get the pin and get them to tap so the next one is what I like to call a false Hiza Guruma which is like a not a cake but like you're pushing with your leg on bottom or like on, on the top of the knee or the bottom of the quad uh, against particularly taller opponents taller opponents um, it's very hard to get a, a collar grip especially if they have their arm extended already so here is satoshi ishi again so you put your leg and you pull down whether it is like the the sleeves like the top of the sleeve back of the tricep you pull them towards you uh, and you have your leg blocking their leg so they cannot get forward so hence they hunch over and you can get your preferred grip uh, this is not only satoshi ishi who does this uh, akimoto when i went to his seminar last year he did this as well he does it so they can get back up and strike with uh, koshi guruma so this kick uh it's very ja like i've only seen the japanese demonstrate this but it's a very good trick in my opinion where you might look like you're doing hisa guruma or you can faint with hisa guruma and pull them towards you even though you don't have it you can easily break their posture and get your preferred grip either like a back of the neck grip or like a Russian arm or you get Kushiguruma like uh, Akimoto. Next, let's talk about the wrist flick for a second. In and of itself, it's not a dirty trick. It's a secret trick 
before YouTube, before Shandy, etc. It used to be a secret trick. Uh, but like, for example, on the chin, not so much dirty. It's just a way to get the chin to open up. Uh, here you see Toshihiko Koga with uh, fighting films. This is from his uh, DVD, A New Wind. He's demonstrating a classical wrist flick where you just open up the chin and get the choke. But here's where it gets somewhat dirty. It's when you're actually pinching the nose and when you're when there it's someone that's heavy and you're very strong and you're really aggressive and you want that win. When you like lift them all up when they're belly down, that can really create damage to the nose. They can, they can get a nosebleed, uh, they can damage the cartilage in the nose. Uh, putting the nose into the face is not a good feeling. So I'm sure if you're pushing with your hand or your wrist on the nose in a different context, that's a Shido 100%. So uh, here it's like a like a split second and you get the chin to open up and you get the choke. But again, like a really strong and really like direct attack on the nose, it can do some damage. So please be careful when doing this. Uh, for example, here, here's how you get the face to open up. Uh, this is no gi judo by uh, Neil Adams, where you actually slide, you put your elbow down on the mat, and with your tricep, you push the face sideways. You get them to open up a bit for hadaka jime, or you know, grabbing the the lapel or whatever it may be. Uh, that's a good way, and it doesn't hurt, but it puts a lot of pressure. It, this isn't about being uh, nice, remember, but. It's not hurtful. And finally, the Yasuhiro Yamashita choke. I'm gonna talk about it again. So please, uh, I saw a lot of comments saying, uh, you know, memeing on the video of when I'm saying like, please don't try this. And they were like, well, or I learned this new trick, or I'm gonna go and try this. For example, here, um, the knuckle where you're like slicing the neck is a good way also to open up the chin. But in terms of the choke itself, guys, please. Uh, the moment your thumb uh, like slips from the carotid artery into the windpipe, this is where you can do some damage. So th there's no need if you if you have that chin opened up and you have the gi, just do a regular clock choke. They're gonna tap, I promise. Uh, like here, here. Uh, let's see it. You already have the chin. I suggest you blade the lapel where it's like the top of it, like the tip of it, it's piercing into the neck, creating more pressure. But don't do this again. This is, you know, for culture. There's a lot of tricks that we know that can really injure someone, but we don't use them. Uh, like finger locks, for example, maybe in self-defense, etc. But please do not do this. Uh, this is just for, you know, general knowledge. Again, you can really hurt someone and you don't want that on your conscience. A wrist flick on the nose, like for a split second, that's fine. Uh, the kick with the false hisaguma, that's fine, that's perfectly legal. The bicep slice, again, you're being sneaky, but hey, it's uh, it's a card that's held close to your chest. But that you know, Yamashita choke, please don't do it. Um, if you have anything else to add, another trick that I missed, because obviously I can name all of them, let me know down below. Uh, also, consider supporting me on Patreon, I have exclusive content for the patrons only. And also, don't forget to check out uh, Josh Simon's shop for t-shirts and articles. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.